Hello, everybody. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. We're going to keep learning English. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's nice to have you. As you may know, we have Thursday, October 12th, 2023. We are going to have our class number 12. So thank you so much for being here. We're going to start soon. Just give me a minute while I get the presentation for you. So we can start working on this thing. Okay. Do you have any question before we begin? Don't forget that there are some exercises that you need to finish in the platform. Yes, en la plataforma hay algunos exercises que tienen que ustedes estar eh, complementando, right? Yes. Entonces, don't forget that you have the exercises over there. Yes. Right. So, again, thank you so much for being here. It's my pleasure. And let me show you what's going to be today's class. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Here we go. We're going to work, as you may see, with... Section number four, would, we have a verb, plus two, plus another verb. We're going to work with this one on today's class. So thank you so much for being here, everybody. It's nice to have you. Are you ready for the weekend? The weekend is coming. Somehow it looks pretty rainy. Yeah. So uh, I couldn't, I couldn't wash my clothes today because it was a rainy day. Yeah. Uh, but I hope that the rainy, uh, like days stop, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, I like the weather, like somehow with rain, but not with too much. Yeah. Not and, with too and we will have, um, uh, eclipse. Oh, really? When is that? Next, next uh, Saturday. Oh, Solar that sounds great. That eclipse. sounds great. Solar yeah. eclipse. Yes. Oh, very good. Thank you so much. That sounds pretty good, right? Big Seda is here. Thank you, Roxana. That's very kind of you. Big Seda. Hello, Big Seda. How are you? I'm fine. Are you happy today? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. What are you going to do on the weekend? I This is the short. Um, no sé cómo se dice donar, teacher. Donar. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, like, mm. oh, I forgot, I forgot, Jesus. yeah, I'm Give? sorry, excuse me? Give? No. No, I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm sorry, I apologize. Oh, when? Where are you going? Um, Saturday. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? In the hospital, Rosales. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry to hear about it because those people are crazy. I went I went to El East like a month ago. Yes. Uh, donate blood. That's what it says. Donate. donate. Yeah, it comes to Spanish, right? Donate. But that's um, the way it goes. Okay. Okay. Donate blood. Oh, I went. I went to East like a month ago. Yeah, and there is a big aguja, right? I see. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I'm sorry, but that is good. Yeah, that's very nice of you going there. It's not easy. Okay. Thank you so much. We're gonna start with the structure. We're gonna have with the grammar part of a structure for accepting. Okay. We're gonna work with this one a little bit. And so you can figure it out. Oh, this one, how it goes. Let's listen and watch. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. 
Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. A lot of plus on this video, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what is the main objective of this one? It's about offering or inviting people. E at the same time is about refusing invitations. Yes. We are going to use would, okay, which is a word that is polite in English. Yes. For example, cuando alguien llega a su house, right? Usted le dice, would you like a cup of coffee? Would you like something to drink? Cuando usted va a los restaurants, el waiter or el waitress, bien amable, le dice, oh, Jesus. Good evening. Good o evening. Sea, good es como para ofrecer. Oh, yes. That is correct. That is correct, Moises. Yes. Okay. That is correct. Yes, it's to offer something, yeah, or also to refuse. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I was talking about the restaurant. So in restaurants, when you go to a restaurant, when you go to Pollo Campero, right, for example, la gente se acerca y dice, excuse me, would you like something to drink? Yeah, or would you like, um, I don't know, snacks, something like that, right? So would... Es para ser educado, ¿no? I used to be polite. ¿Ya? Yeah. Yes. Oh, cuando alguien llega a your home, usted dice, hey, would you like some water? ¿Ya? Yeah. Es de chorro, but, ¿ya? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that was a terrible example, okay? Forget about it, okay? It's alpina, right? Or cristal, ¿ya? Yeah. So that's, <laughs> los, de, los de la cristal le ponen sabor al agua. Yeah, that's why we are addicted to that that water. Yeah, and then when you try another water, sabe rara, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 100% sure que le ponen saborizante el agua. So, so when you try another, I don't know, brand of water, sabe diferente. That is true. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's it's the taste is different. Okay. Entonces, would es para ofrecer algo, ¿vale? Right? Ser educado. Would you like to go out on Friday? Mire, yes. Yes, I would. This is the, yes, I would. Or, yes, I'd, the, I'd love to. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Would you like to go on, uh, I'm sorry, would you like to go to a concert? I love to, but I had to work late. Yes, esta palabra but normalmente es algo when we use para dar algo contrast. Yes, empieza con algo positive y luego dice but. <laughs> exactly, exactly, right? Exactly. Es como if you have children, for example. Sí, cuando usted va a la reunión. Sí, pero dice, no, pero teacher, es como ah. sí, pero no. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. También yeah. also es cuando usted tiene children, right? Mm -hmm. Usted va a la reunión de padres y está el maestro y le dice, oh, su hijo se porta bien, es bien educado, oh, Jesus, es bien, es bien adorable, he's adorable, he's very nice, oh, he's, he respects others, pero, but, no me no, está entregando las tareas. 
<risa> exacto, exacto. So... Pero pase lo contrario también, ticha. <risa> oh, a veces es, sí. es, ya, pues, sí. es, es lo contrario, va súper bien en todo, pero eh, platica mucho o algo así. ¿ver? Exacto. Entonces... <risa> Mire, no le gusta hacer grupos. Okay. <risa> <risa> yeah. so, de, esta palabra but es para eso, ¿sí? Para dar lo opposite. Exacto. Okay. Entonces, you have some. O sea, some que time. lo levanta y lo vuelve y lo deja de caer también. <risa> <risa> Así es, ¿verdad? <risa> exactly. Or sometimes lo invitan a una party, right? Y no tenemos para el present. Yes. So, if we don't have for, for like a, a gift, pues decimos, um, I love to, I like to, but. Uh, I have to work. Yeah. Usted saca su bolsita, right? Your back of excuses. Exactly, right? Su pequeño. Exactly. Save mm -hmm. money. Exactly, right? Usted se inventa algo porque no va, no, no va a decir, oh, I don't have money. I'm sorry. Oh, ahí te lo debo, vos dices, right? Hey, salvo que sea familia, right? Oh. No, no, teacher, hay que hacer aquí como en los pueblos. Se llega de paracaidista con otra familia. ¿sí? Mira, y me traje, y me traje este, boy. Okay. Yes, so this is about that, right? So uh, refusing uh, invitations or accepting, right? Or also inviting or offering things, yes? That could be like a, an activity, like going out. Uh, would you like to go to the movies? Or would you like to, I don't know, travel to Japan? Or stuff like that. We're going to have some examples. Just give me a minute because I don't find. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's do these examples. Respond the invitations. I have tickets to a classical concert. Would you like to go? Okay. So if you notice here, right, tenemos un context y luego aventamos la question. Yes, I have tickets to a classical concert on Saturday. Would you like to go? How do you answer this question? I love it. Oh, okay. I'd love, love it. to. I love to. I love to. Okay. Yes, I love to go. Let's say. Yes, I love to. Or you can say, I would. I would love. Okay. To go. But my my suggestion is, en la respuesta, en la mayoría de casos, ocupemos la contraction. I'd love to go. I love to go. I'd I'd love to go. Very good. What about the number two? There's a second game tonight. Do you want to go out with me? Oh, look at this one. Look at this one, right? Mire. Do you want? Es otra forma directly, right? ¿Cuál es la difference between do and would? ¿Cuál es la difference? ¿Cuál cree que es más educada? Would you like to go or do you want to go with me? Would you like to go? Very good, but say that and also Roxana, would. Yes, would. Ahora, however, right? el verbo que tenemos acá es want. ¿Creen que puedo utilizar would with want? No. Exactly, right? Entonces, como no lo podemos utilizar, tenemos que utilizar do you want to go? with me yes i want to go but <laughs> very good <laughs> that is good i want to go okay <laughs> but oh comma but i feel very tired oh yes very good i fear very oh jesus Tire. Okay. Very good. Yes. Yes. I want to go, but I feel very tired. Okay. Yes. Ahora, one more time. Cuando tenemos el verbo want, pues si tenemos que, pues, utilizar do. Do you want? Yes. Ahora, esta suena un poquito más directa y esta sí es un poquito más educada because it's would. 
Ahora, yo puedo decir, would you like to go with me? Right? I can say that. Uh, there's a second game tonight. Would you like to go with me? Yes, I can say that one if I want to. Okay. En vez de utilizar want, puedo utilizar would you like. Would you like. Entonces, I change it. Right? Yes. Ahora, it depends on the person. Si quieres ser pues directo, you can say, oh, do you want to go with me? Yes, right. That is also good. Uh, but if you want to sound more polite, uh, you can say, would you like to go with me? Yeah. Sandra, Marixa, hello. Good evening. Hello. Thank you. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm going to pick somebody else, okay? Give me a minute. Es que, es que tiene music, Sandra. Tiene music. Entonces, me, me, va, a bloquear, me va a bloquear YouTube. <laughs> okay? I'm sorry. I apologize, okay? I apologize, okay? Sí, me va a bloquear por los derechos, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Es mi vecino. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Es que una vez salió un sonidito por ahí de una music y créame, me decía, lo sentimos, pero está bloqueado por, por esta cosa, ¿ok? Porque infringe. Entonces, I, I'm sorry, Sandra. I apologize. Yeah, I have to. Let's work with Hector. Thank you, Hector. Number three. Oh, Megan Trainor. Who's that one? No idea. Is performing tomorrow at the stadium. Would you like to see her? Oh. I love uh, oh. it I... love to go and uh, to see okay I love to see her very good yes I love to see her very good wonderful yeah so I Did think you... this... Put some... Put some love. oh Jesus yes that's right oh my gosh I love to see her. Yeah, that is correct. Thank you so much, Hector. Great job. Fantastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the like the way that we can answer, right? Uh, and invitations, right? We have two ways. The first one is, would you like? Okay. Which is polite. And then the other one that is, do you want? Okay. Uh, that is quite directly. Um, usually, usually, when you don't know somebody, siempre vaya con would, right? So, for example, if you work in a restaurant, yes, or if you offer, like, something to drink, you say, would you like something to drink? Would you like something to eat? Or would you like, I don't know, a cup of tea? Or would you like a cup of coffee? Or would you like some soda? Yes. Um, con el verbo want, I see... Um, pues tenemos que ir, do you want? Okay. Okay, perfect. Questions? No questions? Okay. Let's continue. We can, I have another other example. Just give me a minute. I have another example here. This one. Oh, who's this girl? Oh, I feel old. I think it's Ariana Grande. Yes, I think. That's that's her, right? But say that. What do you think, Brenda? Ariana Grande, that's, that's her name? Moises? Ariana Grande is the best female singer. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Thank you. What about Britney the Spears? Best, the best singer pop in this... Uh, ¿Cómo decimos generación? Oh, generation or, or time. Yes. Oh, sí. okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, she's just a good singer. Yeah, I think there is one song that is last time. Yeah, she sang last time, I guess. Very good. We're one gonna last have... time? Yeah, one last time. That's a good one. That's you good never one. hear Dangerous Woman? Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, that one, no. I'm sorry. Bueno, se la recomiendo. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I will take that into account. We're going to have this conversation between Eva and Anita, right? Eva and Anita. Do you like pop music, Anita? 
Yes, I do. What is the correct option? The next one. I like I or like. I'd like. I like. Oh, very good. Thank you so much. So we got it directly, right? Oh, yes. I like. I, I'm sorry. I like Kit. I like it a lot. There's an Ariana Grande concert on Friday. Aquí fue como adivinar que se va Ariana Grande. Because I have this one, okay. Ariana Grande concert on Friday. What is the question? Do you like or would, would you, you like? Would you like to go with me? Exactly. Very would good. you like to go with me? Would, would you... Oh my gosh. Would you like, would you like to go with me? Yes. I'd love to. Okay, very good. I'd love to. Thank you so much. Karen, you are Eva, Karen. Your partner is going to be Areli. You are Anita. Ready? Let's begin. Like pop music, Anita. Yes, I do. I like it. Excuse me, I love. I'm so I'm sorry. Can you please use your names? Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, one more time. Hello. Yeah. Do you like pop music, Anita? No, Arely, Arely, okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, oh, yo, but do you like pop music, Anita? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. Oye, Anita, oye, Eva, ¿quién la tú? Continue, Arely, thank you. Arely, you are Anita. I'm I'm sorry, Jesus, you are Eva. Arely. Uh, there is an Ariana Grande concert on free time. Would you like to go with me? With me. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Thank you so much for letting me know. Sometimes I forget this thing, right? I just start speaking out and I forget to turn on my microphone. Thank you so much. Yes, very good. Thank you. Oh, she looks great. She looks great. Let me let me get this one. Okay. Give me a minute. Here we have this one. What do you see here in this picture? Um, let me see. Erika. Good evening, Erika. How are you? Good evening. Please describe the picture. What do you see here? Um, the guys are playing. What are they playing? Uh, baseball. Okay. Uh, that's the, no. Is baseball? <laughs> oh, yes, that's baseball. That's baseball. Okay, Erika, tell me, what are they wearing? they wearing um, um no, they <laughs> oh, that's okay, no problem. Hector, that's can it. you help her? Can you help her, Hector? Uh huh. What are they wearing? Mm, no entendí bien la pregunta, teacher. Oh, what are they wearing? Their clothes. Their clothes. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Um, what is this? What is this? Yes, está jugando baseball y es el que está en va a batear. Okay. Yeah. What is the name of this thing? En un bate. How do you say bate in English? Lady, how do you say bate in English? Mm -hmm. 
bad, very good, bad, yes, that is correct. Like, it's not bad, man, right? Just bad. Okay, very good. Very good, bad, very good. Brenda, how do you say this thing, Brenda? Mm -hmm. Casco, Erika yeah. was saying about casco, right? No sé cómo se dice casco. Mm -hmm. Jansi? Anybody? Moises? How do you say casco in English? If you if you ride a, a, a bike or maybe a motorcycle, you should know what is the name of this one. Yes. Um, Karen, what is the name of a casco? How do you say casco in English? Uh -huh. Helmet. Helmet. Very, Very good. <laughs> a helmet. Very good, Brenda. Great job. A helmet, right? Yes, compresión helmet, le dicen a uno when you get a motorcycle, right? Hey, el helmet, ya lo compraste, right? It's expensive. That is the first thing you gotta get. When you get a motorcycle, a helmet. Uh, what about these ones? Mm -hmm. Tennis shoes? Mm, probably sería like sport shoes or trainers or trainers right we can say those but these are like um i don't know sport shoes specifically for these things right because they have different kind of i don't know objects so they can um get attached to the ground okay and what about these things how do you call these things estas in spanish rodilleras right rodilleras. Rodilleras. exactly <laughs> Yeah, but that's it in Spanish. But what about in English? Uh -huh. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, knee, knee pads, knee pads, yeah. knee pads. Exactly, knee pads. También a veces hay unas que se llaman elbow pads, que van acá en los elbows. Yes, elbow pads. Yes. And here they have a mask. A mask so they can protect yeah they can protect their faces right you see these ones they have a mask so they can protect themselves right uh baseball this is baseball okay do you like baseball um roxana Pardon? do you like baseball um not really oh okay right. what, what's your favorite sport do you have one basketball oh basketball I like it and soccer too. Oh, soccer. I love it. I love soccer, but yeah. I don't play it. What about you? Do you play basketball? No, no, no. no. Uh, okay. But 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 I I uh, play basketball. Okay, you used to play. You used to play basketball. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, not now, right? But back in the days you used to play. Yes, yes, I I, I was a player. Oh, that's very good. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, I player in the um, team of the university. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, those good days, right? Good <laughs> days. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. Oh, va a haber un tema cuando más adelante ustedes van a ver un tema que se llama used to. Yes. Where you talk about things that you used to do in the past, right? When I was little, when I was Studying at the university, I used to play basketball, right? So you can talk about those things, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you will You will have one topic in the future about it. Okay, so we're going to have this conversation between Marco and Tony. And again, here we have two options. There's a basketball game on TV tonight. But say that, what is the correct option? Do you like to come over and watch it or... Would you like to come over and watch it? Would you like? Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh. Would you, uh, would you like, very good. Would you like to come over and watch it? Very good. And then we have I like to or I'd like to. I like to. Oh, I, very good. 
I like to, very good, but I have to study tonight. Well, do you like base basketball or would you like basketball? Do you like basketball? Very good, okay. Do you like basketball? Oh, no, I'm sorry, we have it there right already, basketball. Do you like basketball? Yes? I do. Yes, I do, right. No sé si van notando la difference between would and el simple present. Continue, please, Betsaida. There's a game on TV tomorrow at, the, at three. Um, would you like? Okay. Would you like? Would you, would you like um, to watch that with me? I'd love to. Very good. Love to. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Very good. Just give me a minute. Let me see. Anna Guevara, please, Anna. You are Marco, Anna, and Luis Ernesto. Luis, you are Tony. Yes, Luis. Ready? Ready, Luis? No, no, Luis, she doesn't. Okay. Luis. Oh, Anna, you're ready, right? Thank you. Okay. Jacqueline? <laughs> Jacqueline, are you here? Jacqueline, thank you. Jacqueline, no. No, Jacqueline, okay. Germán, Ulises? Germán? Or no Germán today? Okay, Juan Carlos? Juan Carlos? No? Okay, what about you, Jancy? Can you participate, Jancy? Griselda, can you participate? No? Um, Elizabeth, Jasmine, hello, Elizabeth. Yes, hello, thank you. Elizabeth, you are Tony. Okay, thank you. Would you like, perdón, empiezo. <laughs> Would you like to come over and watch, watch it? Ah, uh, you like to but i have to stand tony where do you like basketball basketball i do i love it there's a game on tv tomorrow at como se me ha olvidado como se tres three three three, three. yes perdón that's okay. There's a game on TV tomorrow at three. Would you like to watch that with me? I love to. Thanks. Thank you so much. Very good. Let me take the attendance really quick. Give me a minute. Let me take the attendance. Okay. Yes. Give me a minute. Thank you so much. Attendance list. Okay. Uh, igual, recordarle lo de los ejercicios en la plataforma, right? Yes. Very good. Si tiene algún inconveniente, me avisa, let me know. Ana María Emily Guevara. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening. Eh, Arely Janeth Cornejo Rivas. Present, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Bet say that Yasmin Berrios Menjivar. Present. Thank you. Brenda Cecilia Mejia Ayala. Present. Thank you. Cynthia Rachel Bonilla Valiente. Hello, Cynthia. No, she isn't. Elizabeth Yasmin Cañas Alvarenga. Present. Thank you so much. Erika Lisset Garcia Acosta. Present. Thank you, Germán Ulises Pinto Sánchez. Germán. I think Germán is here, but he doesn't answer. Let me double check that one really quick. Oh, Germán, thank you so much, Germán. Thank you, I got you. Eh, Griselda Saray Lara Menjibar. 
Present. Thank you so much. Héctor Enrique Guzmán Alvarado. Present teacher. Ingrid Stephanie Sosa Deras. Present. Good evening. Nice to have you. Jacqueline Andrea Orellana Galdames. Jacqueline. Let me check if, if Jacqueline In is... In el chat está Jacqueline. Oh, thank you so much. It's very nice of you, Adelie. Thank you, Jacqueline. I got you. Thank you. Eh, Jessica Maria Molina de Olmedo. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. Good evening. Juan Carlos Escobar Valle. Hello, Juan Carlos. Are you Good here? Evening. Oh, thank you so much. Nice to have you. Uh, Judith del Carmen Alfaro Rodriguez. Hello, Judith. Oh, let me see if Judith is here. Um, let me, okay, Judith. No, she isn't. Okay. Um, Karen Stephanie Carvajal Rivas. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, lady Evelyn Guerrero Perez. Thank you, lady. Present, nice teacher. to have you. Luis Ernesto Garcia Fuentes. Present, teacher. Thank you, Luis. It's nice to have you. Uh, Moises Elias Martinez Flores. Present. Thank you so much, Moises. Uh, Roxana Yanira de la Paz Artola de Funes. I'm here. Good evening, welcome. Sandra Marixa Violantes de Arevalo. Present. Thank you so much. Silvia Bexali Manzanares Rivas. Oh, Silvia, let me check if Silvia is here. Because uh, sometimes she's here, but she's. Oh, no, she isn't. That's rare. No, she isn't. What about uh, Jancy Stephanie Alvarado de Escalante? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And the last one is going to be Jessica del Carmen Rivas Andino. Well, she isn't here. Okay. Let me see. Okay. We're going to have another exercise here. Oh, this one is good. I love this one. Let's take a look. This one is going to have complicated. Let me show you. Okay. This one. Rewrite the sentence, okay? Uh, find another way to say each sentence using the words. For example, do you like rap? What do you think about rap? So vamos a escribir la sentence utilizando this vocabulary para formular la misma sentence utilizando this vocabulary, okay? So do you like rap? What do you think about rap? What do you think of rap? Okay, what about number two? Chad doesn't like country music. Mm -hmm. What is the sentence in number two? Anybody? For example, we can say Chad can stand con the country music. That is perfect. Thank you so much, Moises. Very good. Yes. What about the number three? Sandra Marixa. What do we have in number three? Sí. Oh, yes, you, you have the music, right? You still have the music. Okay. Can you write it in the chat? In the chat, uh, the number five, Sandra. La number five, escriba en el chat, please. I'm soon. I'm sorry. Okay. Esta, would like to, okay? Do you want to go to a, a soccer match? Entonces va a ocupar would like to. Otra forma de decir esta misma sentence, pero utilizando would like to, okay? Perfect, and I'm sorry. Brenda, number three. I love song of operas because it's a great. Okay. I think soap operas are great. Of course. Um, 
Yes, I love the poppers. That is correct. Okay. I love the poppers. Okay, but here the compliment and um, Hmm. We need to add something because, else. Oh, oh, very because good. Because our... Because? Our... Is what, is emocionantes the what is the pronoun? What is the pronoun? Yes. What is the pronoun? Because our... Yes. Our... That is correct. But before our, what is the pronoun? Are the emotional... No sé cómo se dice emocionantes. Oh. Like... Exciting? Exciting. Yeah, but uh, what is the pronoun para su mm. Let's say that. Helper, thank you. They. Oh, they, they. very good. They are ex exciting. Very good. Yes. Very good. Yes, I love su because they're exciting. Yeah, very good. That makes sense. I don't know. Correct me if I if I run. Yes. No. Very good. Thank you so much. Then we have number five. Number five. Any idea, lady? Celia doesn't like new age music. Be a fan of. Mm hmm. Mire, this one is difficult. This one is difficult. Karen, what do you think? Uh huh. Jessica, Luis, Juan, Herman. What do you think about this wing number four? Celia doesn't like new age music. And here we have be a fan of. So what is the sentence here? Hector, any idea? Erika, yeah. Let me know. Podría ser es de Celia can can be a fan. Mm, I'm sorry. No, very good. Yeah, nice try. Remember, here we have. Pues en la cuestión que está en negativo, entonces. Ah, that is the challenge, right? That is the difficult part. That is correct. That is the difficult part because it's in negative. And, but there is a key word over here in parentheses that you can figure it out. Ah, let's say that. Celia is not be a fan. Oh, yeah, almost there. Almost there, but say that. Very good. Yeah, ya tiene casi el 90%. Solo there is one mistake over there in your sentence. There is one mistake in your sentence. Celia no is a fan. No oh. is a big a fan of new age music. Oh, right. you have two mistakes. <laughs> now you have two mistakes. Right? Yeah, in the first one, just one mistake. But in the second one, you have two mistakes. Okay, so uh, figure it out. What is the mistake? Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you got it almost, but say that. Well, just there is one mistake in your sentence, in the first one. Okay. Because you told me, Celia. Okay. Celia is in. Okay. And you told me is in a B fan. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. You told me is in B fan. I'm sorry. Oh, you said a. Uh, fan of new age music, right? That is that is the sentence you told me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but say that. Yes. Me avisa si me equivoco en algo. Yes. Hey, aquí usted tiene un mistake. Here is one mistake. So think about the mistake or si alguien le puede ayudar, if somebody can help her, okay, with the mistake, um, let us know. And listen. Good. Would, isn't... would you like would you like in, in the number five or what? No, number number four. Number four. Number four. Yes. So isn't I delete this. 
¿Me ves? Dislike. No, aquí sí. Aquí solo había... Oh, Jesus Christ. <ríe> Hice algo que no sé qué es. Oh, Jesus. ¿Qué es esta cosa? Ok, I'm sorry. Ok, so here... Ok, here... Here you have one, just one mistake, let's say that, in your sentence. There is Pero, just one. Sorry. Eh, si arriba está doesn't, abajo no puede ser isn't. Um, Celia. Celia doesn't be a fan of new age music. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, Moisés. That is incorrect. Nice try. Nice try, but that is incorrect. Okay, here in esta sentence, solo hay un mistake. I need to find out what is the mistake. Just one thing. Okay, one little thing. El, ¿Será que es porque tiene B? Oh, very good, Elizabeth. That is correct. Okay. Yes, very good. Mire. Ahora, el B que nos está dando acá es este que ocupa Seida. Y como está negative, isn't. Celia, Celia isn't a fan of New Age Music. Yes? Very good. Ahora, ¿por qué utilizo? Moisés me estaba diciendo, no, pero si arriba dice doesn't, pues tengo que utilizar pasar. No, oh. no, I'm sorry. Lo que pasa es que aquí nos, nos da el verbo be. ¿Ya? Yeah? Como no está el verbo be, entonces tengo que utilizar el verbo to be, que es para Celia is. And because it's negative, I need to make it like isn't. Yeah. So Celia isn't a fan of new age music. Oh, very good. That's good. Thank you. Let me check the chat. Sandra. Um... Oh, no, Sandra me la contestó. Okay. <laughs> That is good. Yes, I would like to go to a soccer game. That is correct, Sandra. Pero sí necesito que la reescribamos, o sea, que sea la misma question. Siempre va a ser una question, no la respuesta, right? Not the answer, Sandra. Okay, not the answer. Okay, la respuesta is good, the one that you wrote, but I need to rewrite the, the, the sentence. Okay, A Roxana, please, can you help us? Number yeah. five. Yeah. Good, good. Would you like to go to a soccer mat? Very good. Good. You like to go to a soccer. I'm sorry, soccer match. Okay. Would you like to go to a soccer match? And Sandra was saying in the chat, right? Very good, Sandra. Yes, I would like to go to a soccer soccer uh, match. Soccer match. Okay. Very good, Sandra. Great job. Also, Roxana. Beautiful. Karen, any question about this? Karen and Stephanie, any question about this? Uh, teacher. Yes. En el tercero no entendí por qué puso un great exit. Es un sinónimo. En el number three. Ajá. Uh -huh. Great es eh, como genial. Exactly. Yes, sí, es como algo emocionante. No yes. sé si lo dejo por, por como sinónimo o por qué. Oh, yes, al final, al final, si usted quiere ponerle great, that is good. Eh, mm -hmm. Es igual, puede e ser. Ex exactly, right. Aquí porque ella ah. me dijo, oh, they are exciting. Pero si usted le quiere dejar great, do it, no problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Yeah, ok. Um, perfect, nice question. Uh, somebody else, another question about this? No. Yes. Look at this one. I love this one because this is about, it's on how good. Porque esto lo ocupamos bastante en English, right? Would you like to go out? Yes. For example, if you, if you like, I don't know, get somebody from the U.S. <laughs> or if you get some friends from a different place, they go to your house. Sometimes, sometimes uh, you want to invite them to go out and have dinner or let's say to go to a, a, I don't know, a soccer match or to go out and play, I don't know, something outside. So so you can you can use wood or also do you want to. Any question about this? Questions about it? No? Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to show you the 
following information. Thank you. You scam me. What is that thing? Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't find it. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. No. Okay. Give me a minute, please. Because I'm looking for something here, but I don't. I don't find it. I don't know what is that. No. Oh, it's not this one. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh my gosh, this one. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? No. No. Oh, this one, no. Oh, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ, I don't find it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. We're gonna have something about um that is called text abbreviation. Okay, in English, uh we have this thing that is well normally we use it when we write on text messages on what is it here when we are writing uh stuff on whatsapp or in i don't know in a text we usually write this kind of text message abbreviation right and sometimes we use them uh like <laughs> if you're a lazy person right or like if you are young, sometimes young people, they use this abbreviation, right? I don't know, I don't use them a lot. The one that I think I lose a lot is this one. Thanks, please. Those are the ones that I use a lot, okay? Also you, yes, I use that one a lot. R also is another one. This one, I don't think so, too, too. Um, IMO, in my opinion, okay? To be honest, TBH, sometimes we can use this one, right? To be honest. And, oh, this one, as far as I know. Do you know this expression, as far as I know, in English? Um, do you know when do we use as far as I know? Brenda, this expression here, as far as I know. Do you know what is the meaning of this expression? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. okay. Anybody, does anybody, does anybody know what is the meaning of as far as I know, Roxana? Okay. Is this expression is, is cuando hasta donde sea, right? Yes. Hasta donde sea yo, as far as I know, this is the way. Okay. Right. As far as I know, it's pues, hasta donde sea, right? That is the expression that we use. Lo decimos a lot in English, right? A veces nos cuentan un chismecito por ahí, right? Yep. <laughs> right? Entonces uno dice, as far as I know, that is the information that I have. Yes, right? Yes, right? Hasta donde sea, right? O a veces nos dicen, oh, listen, uh, do we have to work on Saturday? As far as I know, yes. Right? Sí, hasta donde sea, trabajamos hasta el sábado, right? Yes, as far as I know. Yes. Are we, or for example, if you're at home with your relatives, eh, vamos a comer pupusas en la tarde, right? Well, as far as I know, yes, right? Ya las encargué. Three revueltas and dos con queso, right? Very good. Very good. So that is the expression that we use. Um, esta otra también, to be honest. To be honest. Okay? That is another one that we use, right? <laughs> Solo just be careful. Honest, right? Eh, lady, entiende esta frase? To be honest? Yes. 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 
Very good. Right? Como le pregunta, do you like pupusas? To be honest, um, not really. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> not I really. prefer the revuelta. Oh, oh, that's oh, that, so that means that you love pupusas, right? Yeah. But this expression, to be honest, podemos utilizarla así como, pues siendo honesto, right? Um, I don't think so. Yeah. No, no, no. Es una falta de respeto a quien no le gustan las pupusas. No, it's just an example. It's just sí, an sí, example, sí, sí. okay? Just relax. Calm down, calm down. Okay, it's just an example, right? Yes, it's just an example. Or for example, uh, a veces le dicen, hey, do you like, um, I don't know, what is the movie? Titanic. Do you like the movie Titanic? To be honest, uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't like it. Yes, entonces, normalmente esta frase, to be honest, tiene una, una cognitiva negative, okay? Just to be honest, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, yeah, right. So uh, be careful with that. Laugh out loud. Este sí creo que la habían ocupado, right? Yo no lo ocupo because I'm old. Yes, I'm bald. Like, like 26, around like that. Moises, thank you. What is the meaning loud? Loud is así como... <laughs> okay, ya os conoce usted oh, este... Uno de estos programas que se llaman, por ejemplo, Laura Bozo. Do you know Laura Bozo? Yes. Yes. Esa, esa señora cuando she habla. Is my, she is my friend. Oh, Como esa señora reira, cuando habla. Friend. Cuando oh. habla, ella grita. Right? Entonces, loud es eso. Entonces, laugh es reír en loud. Yes, you know what I mean? Yes. Mm. Grito de risa se traducería. Es una como carcajada, ¿verdad? Right? Yes, and that's, uh -huh. yeah. Exactly. Entonces, exactly. Very good, lady. Very good. That is correct, right? So, entonces, la palabra LOL, la abbreviation LOL, significa laugh out loud. So, es como que, ah, una carcajada, right? Mire, esta me gusta. I don't know. Esta la ocupo a lot. Si usted se fija, aquí dice, I don't know. Pero a veces la dicen bien rápido, dicen, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ni articulan bien, right? I don't know. But that is correct. Yes, I don't know. So, um, <laughs> esta expresión me la dicen mis alumnos o no. Okay, do you know the answer? I'm sorry, teacher. I don't know, me dicen. Yeah. Los alumnos lo ocupan a lot, right? I, I don't know. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> okay. O, o también yo tengo una que es my favorite, que es I have no idea. I have no idea. Esa es my favorite. Siempre digo, I have no idea. Me preguntan, hey, mister, ¿sabe usted, like, uh, cómo quedó el partido Brasil versus, I don't know, Venezuela? I, I have no idea. ¿Ok? Yes. ¿Sabe cuándo vamos a tener vacation? I have no idea. Yes. That is, that is my escribe favorite. Escribe esta expresión, check. Oh, oh, yes. It's like, I, y luego, have no idea. I have no idea. Idea. I have no idea, right? Yeah, I have no idea. That is my favorite expression. Cuando no sé algo, en vez de decir, I don't know, because that is the common one, I say, I have no idea. Yes, right? Me preguntan, hey, vamos a comer mañana? Vamos, are we going to have food tomorrow? I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just living the moment. Yes. Okay. Uh, message. Never mind. It's another expression that we use in English, right? Never mind. See? ¿Sí? No, hombre. Yeah. Sin preocupaciones, right? Never mind. No importa, right? Never mind. Be right back. See? ¿Sí? Be right back. Esto es, pues, ya regreso, right? Be right back. Ya regreso, right? Be right back. Okay? And talk to you later. Talk to you later. Yes. Talk to you later is another expression that we use. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, cuando su hijo se porta mal allá en el mall, right? Y le dice, mm, talk to you later. Mm, yeah, I talk to you later, right? O, oh, for example, a veces estamos busy, right? Ocupaditos ahí. Y le dice, hey, uh, la llega a buscar la, la señora de la venta de ropa, right? Y le dice, hey, no, talk to you later. Talk to you later, le dice, right? Hablamos después, right? Yeah, después... Ya significa que después la va a comprar, right? Yeah. Uh, for example, um, a un colleague, right, at work, 
Hey, I talk to you later, right? Hablo después contigo, right? I talk to you later. Yes. So these are the expressions that we use in English. And when you text somebody, you write a message like this one. Yes. Are you busy Saturday? Want to go to the beach? Yes. So here you can write a message using these abbreviations. Claro, acuérdese que this is informal. Informal, right? Cuando utiliza abbreviations, is informal. Just be careful with that one, okay? Are you ready for the weekend, um, Roxana? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, I hope all of you get a really nice weekend. Enjoy with your relatives. Eat healthy food. Be nice and be kind. And we will see you next week on Monday. Yes? Take yes. care, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 See you, see you on Monday. Take care. Thank I you so much. You. I see you.